Hello, hello, hello! Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I am um, short stream today. Hello everyone, because my wisdom teeth are growing and it hurts. I've taken some painkillers and will be streaming for as long as they last, which is not long. But I just, I just want to stream. I just wanted to play this game so badly. I had to do it. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell Ooh. a lot about a person by where he or she lives, oh, I'm trying to start the game up. Showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, so if you see me clutching this side of my face, it's my wisdom tooth. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous, and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me and nothing. Hi, Beesus. 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 That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. Nice to see you. Thank you for following yesterday. Just click on the plane ticket. Oh no, I don't if you can hear me. Nancy's loud as heck. Hi, Pogo. Like I said extra short stream today. My wisdom teeth are growing, growing, and it's so painful. But I just. Couldn't wait to start this game. Oh, I'm excited to see you here. Thank you for coming. Ah, uh, yes, I uh, I raided Spooky Sleuth yesterday, uh, so um, it was it was nice because uh, I think it was Anya said about Spooky Sleuth, and then I followed Spooky Sleuth, and then I raided Spooky Sleuth. <laughs> it was like hello. I've, I have played it before, but not finished it because of um, a certain mini game. So. This one and Legend of the Crystal Skull are the only ones I haven't finished. Legend of the Crystal Skull I like, but the puzzles I find really hard. So I haven't <laughs> I haven't finished that one, but we're going to do it on stream. Yeah, it is a hard game. It's really hard. <laughs> but it's the vibes. They're immaculate. So um, yeah, we've got to got to do it. Uh, so I actually don't know who did this one. I don't think I got far enough. I think I managed to. I think I have an idea, but I don't actually know for sure who did this one, and I definitely don't know who did Legend of Crystal Skull. Um, yeah, fox and geese. I feel like with streaming it I have an incentive to fin to play it <laughs> so whereas when I was playing it by myself I had no incentive to try and beat that puzzle it's like deadly device I tried to play that three times by myself but I found that one really difficult as well uh, so I played it on stream and I, it actually pushed me to finish it so head to Icicle Creek Lodge, a small guest lodge deep in the Canadian Rockies of Alberta, Canada, and try to figure out why so many accidents have been happening there. The woman who runs the lodge, Chantelle Mouike, called Mouike, called me out of the blue, I'm sure we'll find out, saying that Bet and Ed Rawley from Shadow Ranch had recommended me. Oh, we haven't played Shadow Ranch on stream yet either. But we will. That's going to be the last one. I'm playing them all of the ones that I haven't played, I haven't streamed yet, in order. Except Shadow Ranch, which we're going to say for last. Because it's good. <laughs> Ooh, Spooky Sue's starting that one today. Nice. Yeah, it is difficult. I, uh... And also it's very, like, it's in the, the one building and it feels very confined. So I think it just put me off a little bit. Um, she sounded so desperate that I couldn't refuse. She said she was on her way to Edmonton to meet with her lawyer, so her handyman, Ollie Randall, will pick up me up at the airport. She told me it's been really cold and snowy there and that I should pack accordingly. And then she said something about a wolf. <laughs> okay. Uh, the connection was getting really bad and I couldn't hear her, but I'm pretty sure she used the word prowling, or was it howling, along with dangerous and be careful. 
accidents are one thing, but wild animals? I hope I know what I'm getting into. We never do, Nancy. We never do. Uh, junior. <laughs> I, uh, I'm thinking like in six months maybe or a year we go back and play them all on senior. But I'm scared. I'm scared of senior. Even though I think in some games it's not that different. I'd be quiet now. You're not much older than my little girl Freddie. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. Uh, no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she oh. still in Edmonton? I'm afraid so. The insurance company's given her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left running the lodge up to me. My glasses are filthy. Crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot, especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall, and I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. Oh my goodness, that scared me. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I don't remember that. Was anyone in the bunkhouse when it exploded? No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. That's where Elsa and Becky had been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> It was like someone dropped a bomb on it. You have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? My dad runs a whole chain of resorts, Ollie. If you think I'm going to admit to him that I can't handle running just one, guess again. Besides, Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of this. Yeah. Don't you, Nancy? I'm going to play board well, games with the guests. Maybe I'll just be your new maid. Nancy, why'd you do this to yourself? That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, yeah, that's an excellent idea. All right, you're my new maid. In fact, you're my new cook too. Although, you know, I love a cooking mini game. Is this legal? Nancy really needs to at least start charging for solving the case. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I think that might be why I didn't finish. I was just playing the cooking mini game the whole time. I'm going to be pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. No, Ollie, don't do whatever you have to. Leave that wolf alone. Not Tino. Not Tino, please. I forgot about Tino. Oh, I forgot so much about this game. Uh, oh, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> oh, no. Not Tino. Tino Baldushi, as as a uh, as he was called in the chat. Okay. Maid duties, daily cleaning, pick up laundry bag at the front, available after five forty-five a.m. Enter and clean only those rooms displaying the housekeeping sign. Make the bed. Remove used towels and wash clothes. All rooms displaying the housekeeping sign must be cleaned no later than noon. When finished, drop the laundry bag down the chute at the top of the stairs by the restroom. Upon maintenance. Oh, oh, looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. Yeah, I don't think I'm qualified for this. Um, <laughs> I remember this. This is basically Minecraft. 
Yeah. It's Minecraft. Report all avalanches to the avalanche oh. patrol. Fun fact, the last four digits of the phone numbers in this game spell out something related to the character. For example, the family of Spoon Poison got the number spell sick. Oh my gosh! Because it all spells fang and my personal fave Tino's number spells jerk. Yeah, Tino is complicated. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in a league of his own. There's just no word to describe him. Oh, my camera crashed. Oh, my camera! We just do the classic, turn it off and back on again. Uh, if we can. <laughs> classic, unplug and replug. No. <laughs> Why well, I can't get my camera to work again? I need to get a new one to be honest. It does this all the time. There we go. I'm back. Okay, let's I actually uh yeah, that's fine. It's cut off a little bit at the bottom of the stream, but you don't need to see the menu buttons. I'm starting a new page in my no notebook for White Wolf. Maybe I should pause. The time's ticking. Avalanche patrol. Do I need to write that number down? Four oh three five 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 two oh six. Tino. It's just Tino. 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 Report any and all criminal activity to the Ice Creek Sheriff. Five seven eight two seven. Sauna. Employees should remember that heat and moisture sometimes cause the door to the sauna to stick and should periodically check to make sure that no guests are stuck inside. All employees should check that no guest has been <laughs> slow cooked in the sauna. Okay, breakfast seven to eight. Okay, I'm going to write this down because I will forget. Breakfast seven to eight fifteen. Lunch twelve to one. Dinner six to seven. This must be the key Ollie said he'd leave for me. Pish pish Ina Chinook. We're in Quell Quell, okay. Guadalupe, Camillo, Yanni, Walk Staya. And this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. Yoink. Hmm, teddy bear. Okay, do I have to clean today? <gasps> I think I do. Let's go and get the bag. Uh, uh, yoink, mine. Looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. So she was the maid before us. She probably got paid though. <laughs> Dear Elsa, this time when I read in your letter saying you weren't coming, I didn't get sad. I got mad. I can't believe you think working as her stupid maid at some stupid lodge for some stupid lady whose name I can't even pronounce is more important than spending time with me. If I didn't love you so much, I'd tell you to go take a flying leap. But since I love you more than anything, I'll just have to do something else. Like maybe take your precious collection of troll dolls out of your box you stored in my garage and dump them down the disposal. Or maybe I'll se sell them on eBay for a nickel apiece. My God, <laughs> that is uh, that is worse than telling someone to take a flying leap. To be honest, I'd rather be told to take a flying leap than someone destroy my beloved things. But okay, I don't know how else to make you understand that I love you with all my heart and always will. L, you sound like a loser, L. Do 
Dearest Elsa, you said in your letter that you love me forever back, but if that's true, why'd you put off coming here to see me? When I read you weren't coming, I stopped and looked around because it felt just like somebody had walked up and stabbed me through the heart. I'm starting to get real jealous of that lodge you work at. Jealous of a lodge. <laughs> okay. You spend way, way more time there than you do with me and I don't like it one bit. I can't help myself. I'm so in love with you it's getting hard to see straight. And that's the truest thing I've ever told you. Come see me next week. Totally and completely yours, L. I also would be hiding at this lodge, to be fair. My darling Elsa, remember how I told you that I love you more than anything? Well, that was true, but what's even truer is that I'm going to love you forever. Sometimes thinking about forever makes me dizzy, like when I start th thinking about the sky and how it doesn't stop at the moon or the sun or even the Milky Way, but just keeps going and going and going. When I think about you, forever seems totally cool. <laughs> because if one thing's just... One thing, just keep going and going and going by yourself. But keep going and going with somebody? That's awesome. Write me as soon as you get this. I can't wait to see you next week. Yeah, fair enough, Elsa, to be honest. Elsa, run. Oh, here's another one. Chantal, this is my formal notice of resignation. Please call me at 555-2383 if you expect any delay with the check. Elsa. Elsa five 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 two three eight three. While I've enjoyed being in service with you at the, in the staff of Icicle Creek Lodge, I no longer feel safe with all of these accidents going on. I've put a claim to your insurance company for the damage I sustained to my tires by the wolf. Okay, but she doesn't own the wolf. The wolf has every right to be there. This is like the whale all over again. Make the bed. Take the towels. Snoop in the room. Somebody's got slippers. Ah, uh, is this the skier? World Championship venue remains a mystery. While it is common knowledge that the World Championship cross-country skiing, cross skiing competition will take place in Alberta, Canada the winter after next, exactly where in Alberta is currently the sport's best-kept secret. We will be making a formal announcement next month, said Olivia Dorfman, director of the event. When pressed to explain the delay, she said, Delay? There is no delay. We simply saw no reason to announce the venue any earlier. You tell them, Olivia. It is widely rumoured that behind-the-scenes bidding by hotel and restaurant chains has held up the final decision, leading to criticism that the event has become more about commerce than competition, but Dorfman refused to comment on either charge. Despite Dorfman's steadfast silence, there is growing speculation that the prestigious event will be held somewhere around Banff, specifically in the pristine countryside which borders Icicle Creek. The fact that hotel owners and restaurateurs in the Icicle Creek area are extremely reluctant to discuss the competition lends considerable credence to the rumour. Okay, that's what we're pushing for. But only time in the form of Miss Dorf Miss Dorfman will tell. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can click out in this game. I didn't realise. No other Nancy Drew game you can click out. <laughs> That's good to know. The games are finally catching up to the uh, 21st century. Ooh, a cupboard. Let me in. Get your towels first before we forget to do our job. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Honestly, the beginning is my favourite part of Nancy Drew Games. I love just the, the initial snoop. Nothing beats your first snoop. Biathlon, 
biennial. Freedom freaks out the competition. Oh, here he is, Yarny. The fact that Yarny Volts Volt Castaya has won five of the last seven cross country skiing events he has entered may be an enviable accomplishment, but it is hardly a surprising one. This is because, above all else, Volk Steyer hates to lose. I mean, I'm sure everybody else also hates to lose. <laughs> and for him, losing means finishing at anything other than first. If you don't come in first, what's the point? When Volk Steyer says this, he seems genuinely puzzled. A citizen of Fredonia, he has been skiing competitively and winning for as long as he can remember. As a child, I expected to win, and I always did. I was very stubborn. When I was older, I had better competition, and it became more and more difficult to win because of stubbornness alone. And so I began to accept advice and to watch others and to work on my own technique. In that way, I was able to keep winning. A mandatory two-year stint in the Fredonian Mountain Brigades not only sharpened Volksteyer's skiing skills, but carrying a rifle and shooting at targets while on patrol opened up what for him was a brand new sport, the biathlon. Three weeks after leaving the army, he entered the Eastern European Biathlon Championship and won. Okay, but what was he shooting? <laughs> The Fredonian army taught him at least one other valuable lesson, knowing your enemy is the surest way to defeat him. Not only does he prepare himself physically for an event, but Volksteyer also learns as much about the people he'll be competing against as he can. He memorises what they eat, what they wear, where they live, what equipment they use, how they train, even their sleep habits. I know some of my competition better than I know myself, he declares. It makes them seem smaller to me. Predictable. Beatable. Kind of crazy. Why, while Volk Steyer claims that studying the competition affords him a psychological edge and little else, some believe he studies his competitors so he can eliminate them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes before the race even begins. One of his rivals, a man who prefers to stay as close to the starting line as possible the night before the race, claims that at one event, Volk Steyer bought all of the rooms in the lodge closest to the race course, forcing the man to stay several miles away. Volk Steyer won, his rival came in distant fifth. Other competitors tell similar tales. Tools and replacement parts suddenly vanish from the shops. Food items disappear from store shelves. Strange noises keep people from getting a good night's sleep. Okay. Stopping people from getting a good night's sleep is too far. But I feel like buying the hotel roofs, while shady, is not that bad. Some biathletes even claim that Volkskaya altered the scopes of their rifles so they'd miss their targets. When confronted with these accusations, Volksteyer just shakes his head. Pah, I do nothing wrong. They are angry because I always win and they always lose. They are green with jealousy and sour apples. It's likely that he means sour grapes, not sour apples, but his message is clear nonetheless. When it comes to cross-country skiing, Yanni Volksteyer is currently the force to be reckoned with. I'm not liking Yanni. Yeah, we haven't even met him yet. <laughs> He's not coming across well. Environmental champion... Biathlon Bob's tip of the month, the magic bullet. Ever find yourself on a training run out in the backcountry miles from car or cabin consistently missing your target despite your best efforts? You conclude that your front sight needs to be adjusted but you have no tools with you, not even your trusty swift army knife. The good news for some rifle owners is you don't have to throw in the towel and call it a wasted day because the solution to your problem is right there in your rifle. A bullet. To raise or lower the sight post, you need to depress the small locking pin and move the circular plate beneath the post to the next position. Okay, we're going to have to do this, aren't we? As needs must. Okay, let's make his bed. Give me your towels. Lockable wardrobes. Hmm. <laughs> okay, if we we've got one more to clean. Uh, uh. Structural engineering, a textbook. Okay. Rudimentary geology. Somebody's studying. Okay.
Right. Where do I put the thing? Oh, in here. This must be where I drop the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the rooms. Okay, let's go and actually meet people then. We spent a lot of time <laughs> snooping in their rooms. I feel like I know Yarny. Snowshoes owned and used by Trapper Dan in the early 1900s. Oh no, this is like the necklace I made at Kapu Cave. Bone which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from a race of giants known as Rexes. Oh, what's that? My not there. Wonder what happened to it. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, my hair got trapped. <laughs> Rexes and it's missing. Where is it? Although Trapper Dan, who never married, probably found himself snowbound and totally alone for several weeks each winter, which no doubt explains some of the lodge's more eccentric features and furnishings, he was outgoing and inte intellectually curious and often entertained celebrities at the lodge, including Teddy Roosevelt, Lizzie Applegate, Freddy, Frederick Banting, Ernest Hemingway and Marie Curie. Lizzie Applegate is from... Message in a Haunted Mansion, and I remember that because I love that game. I heart that game. Hello! Well, hello there. You must be the new maid Ollie told us about. I'm Bill Kessler. This guy's Lou Talbot. Is he... Hey. <laughs> is What's that meant to be Canadian? Nancy. Nancy Drew. Just thought I, could I love Message in a Haunted Mansion. Well, Lou here is a grad student. Art major of all things. You're probably gonna need a jackhammer and some hydrochloric acid to clean his room, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm s oh Canadians. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but you know they got me in Blackmore Manor. They uh, they sure showed my accent up. So it it's everybody's turn. Okay. I'm after. Oh, my camera's bloody crashed again. <laughs> See a boot. I honestly don't hear it in American accents uh, that well. Uh, Canadian accents. Uh, I don't hear it that much. But then I was watching a Canadian YouTuber the other day and I, I heard the boot. And I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe they're right. <laughs> Have you two been at the lodge for a while? About a week, I guess. I checked in right after he Oh, this is the first game with this setup as well. I discovered that this fox and geese game is pretty darn fun. I've been whipping his tail ever since. I'm just checking, making sure you can see the screen properly. Okay, yeah. You didn't just come here to play fox games, and geese. <laughs> I came for the ice fishing. Of course, knowing there's a renegade eh? running around is kind of dampened my enthusiasm. Have you seen the wolf? Just heard it. Every night since I've been here, in fact. Gets creepier each time. They should get rid of it, and the sooner the Thank better. Thank you. They didn't put up with wolves prowling Thank around you, 40 years ago, and they shouldn't put up with them now. What are you, Little Red Riding Hood? That wolf's not hurting anybody. People should just leave it alone. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. When it has some little kid for breakfast, then has you for lunch. Not gonna happen, dude. Trust me. If it's one bad wolf. Can happen, chances are it eventually will, dude. Hey, I know what you can do. Shovel the snow off the skating pond so we can do some speed skating. I'll play Minecraft. You're faster than me. You're like ancient. Of course I'm faster than you. You may have youth on your side, my friend, but I've been working construction since before you were born, which means I am more fit now than you will ever be. Get that pond shoveled so we can settle this, okay, kiddo? Consider it done. Okay. It's it's like an hour until lunchtime, though, so... <laughs> I need to do my job. Food poisoning, wolf plague... 
Icicle Creek Lodge. Okay. Wolf plague? Is it, there's one wolf. Four people were forced to check out early from the Icicle Creek Lodge after becoming violently ill. Edmund Farringdale, 41, his wife Ginny, 38, and their nine-year-old son Sue of Westwood, New Jersey, and Betsy Stills, 58, of Calgary, Alberta, were admitted to Pinevale Hospital early yesterday morning with suspected food poisoning. Lab tests performed on food samples removed from the lodge confirmed the presence of salmonella bacteria in the potato salad. Which all four had consumed. Uh, I I can't think of anything worse than one eating a potato salad, and then getting food poisoning <laughs> straight after. I don't think I would like to eat a potato salad. They expected to make a full recovery. The owner of the lodge, Chantal, I can't remember how to pronounce her name. Uh, was at a loss to explain how the potato salad became contaminated. The same ingredients used to ma make the potato salad were used in other dishes without any of the other guests becoming sick, she said. Moreover, Becky assures me that the potato salad was never left sitting out at room temperature and she would know she was my cook. <laughs> None of the four victims, including Stills, plan to return to the lodge upon their release from the hospital. <laughs> no worries, I'm just going to go back and eat some more potato salad. If you ask me, the lodge is jinxed, Still said. Chantelle better give up trying to turn the lodge into some kind of hoity-toity spa while she still can. First the wolf, now this. I'm leaving and she should too. Stills was referring to the lone wolf, wolf which has been spotted several times within the past week in the Icicle Creek drainage because ranchers in the area have reported no increase in livestock predation. Authorities are urging hunters not to go after the wolf, contending they would pose a greater danger to visitors to the backcountry than the wolf does. Yes, it's one wolf. Get over yourselves, please. Is there anything else I can read? Skiing kind of freaks me out. So many people die from skiing. Ugh. It's a no from me. <laughs> Until I have to. You can't make me. Okay. So we've met two of the guests. And I guess Ollie, we've met him, but I don't know where he hangs out. I can't really remember. The rugged setting of the lodge, while spectacular, also makes it prone to natural dangers. Avalanches are not uncommon and hot springs cause ponds in the area to freeze unevenly. Because Icicle Lake is so remote, the Navy used it for research during World War II. Are we prepared for Nancy to get killed in avalanches? Because it's kind of inevitable. Daniel Weissnitz, a.k.a. Trapper Dan, started construction of what is known today as the Icicle Creek Lodge in 1894. It served as his centre of operations until the winter of 1921 when he vanished without a trace. In 1934, the lodge was purchased by Abe Wentworth, who maintained it as a hunting lodge until Chantel assumed ownership in 2006. Trapper Dan, seen here with his pet pig, Mary. In the early 20th century, Trapper Dan, seen here with his pet pig Mary, was famous throughout the Northwest Territories of Canada. His skill at trapping beavers, badgers, martens, fishes, minks, lynx, wolverines and foxes was legendary. Suggestions from Lizzie Applegate, seen at right, reportedly came in handy when in 1905 a heavy felt tax was levied on fur trappers and trapper... Oh, poor Trapper Dan. <laughs> Added hidden chambers, passageways, and hard to open locks to the lodge to facilitate his smuggling operation. Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge throughout its 100 year history. Hmm, looks like some of the pictures are missing. Okay. Hello. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Are you Yanni Bokstaya? Forgive my disgust, but I do not like being lied to. Chantal said there would be no more guests to make noise at all hours and disturb my train. Yet what stands before me? A new guest. 
No, no, I'm not a guest. I'm Nancy Drew, the new maid, and the new cook. Forgive me. Allow me to start over. I am Do you want to be fed? I am here to train for the Eastern European Cross Country Championship. I spend my days doing interval work, drills, and isometric exercises. I follow a strict program, one painstakingly designed by a team of the best coaches in Fredonia. In fact, under no circumstances are you to use your key to let anyone into my room. My competitors are constantly spying on me, trying to steal my techniques. Oh, don't worry, I will be spying on you. <laughs> this is a bit of misunderstanding. I'm a spy. I understand. No, what you must understand is this. If anything is missing or so much as out of place in my room, you can expect a visit from me. And it will not be a pleasant one. Okay. Have you ever seen the wolf while you were out training? No, for which I'm very grateful. In my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. You don't really believe that, do you? They are creatures of infinite evil, and that is all I'm going to say on the matter. Why is everybody freaked out about this one wolf in the middle of the mountains? I hear that a major cross-country skiing competition may be held in this area in a couple of years. This is very true. It will rival the Olympics. Could that be the real reason you came here to train? As long as I have to train, why not train in the place where I must eventually put that training to use? As we say in Fredonia, I am simply milking two goats with one bucket. Besides, yeah, is that really that suspicious, Nancy? Nothing to defeat me. I am forced to seek out and exploit every possible advantage open to me. I take no pride in some of the things I've done to bring victory to my country, but I have no choice. Do you think maybe he's just a bit paranoid because he's the type of person who like spies on his competitors and learns everything about them, so he thinks people are equally Thanks interested in him. To talk to me. Come back any time. Ooh. Here's that sauna. I remember this. I remember this. Need something? You look busy. What are you making? I'm building something that's gonna solve all our problems. A wolf trap. One that'll finish off that thing out there once and for all. You think the wolf is causing the accidents? Not a doubt in my mind. Everything was A-OK -okay till it showed up and started howling. It's bad luck. And something this guy. Something unnatural. I didn't know that wolves could explode things and put salmonella in potato salad. This is this is news to me. Please don't trap the wolf. Why do you say that? Yesterday I went looking for it. I tracked it and finally found it, sitting across the creek, not twenty yards away from me, just staring at me. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest shot I've ever taken in my life. He tried to shoot the wolf. So I fired again, and I missed, and then I missed again and again. And all the while it just sat there staring till finally it just stood up, walked toward the brush just as calm as could be, and disappeared. Wild animals just don't <laughs> He's just like, Yeah, I tried to shoot this innocent animal and what? <laughs> There's something real weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to jaw about. You met my little girl yet? No, but you mentioned that her name is Freddy. How about I shoot her? <laughs> most of the time outside. She built herself a little snow fort. Just sits out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can pick a snowball fight with him. I keep asking her how she manages to stay warm all day, but she won't tell me. Says she's got a secret weapon. Yeah, she is something. He's like, yeah, this is the trap that I'm going to use to mutilate this poor wolf who is clearly lost. Can you tell me more about the accidents that have been happening around here? Nope, sure can't. Okay. You can't or you don't <laughs> want to. Chantal and those lawyers of hers said I couldn't talk about them. Supposed to direct all questions to her. Sorry. How long have you worked for Chantal? About a year and a half. I was her first hire. Best hire, too. I could run this place single-handed if I had to. Just like I'm doing now. No. <laughs> I don't like you, Ollie. 
Had you ever been in the guest lodge business before? I tried my hand at it once. Long story short, didn't work out. But I've learned a whole lot since then. I can make it work. <laughs> he just admitted he failed. Find the right property, get my hands on enough cash to make a down payment, that's all. Does your wife, Freddy's mom, does she live here too? In the summer she does, but in the winter she goes south. See, she's got this nerve condition that makes her real sensitive to cold. Freddy'd like to go with her, but until Chantal stops putting off giving me that raise she promised me, sending Freddy south too is out of the question. I'll get out of your hair now. See you later. I don't know, instead of actually running the lodge, you seem to be trying to attack the local wildlife. Oh my god, Yanni. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Back off, Nicholas Falcone, there's a new Cheeks McGee in town. It's like that Simpsons. <laughs> Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh my god, I'm transfixed. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think we'll have to leave. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Oh, it's almost lunchtime. Well, who are you? What the, oh, what the heck did you come from? I'm Elsa's replacement. Oh, the new maid. Thank goodness. I was wondering how much longer the owner expected us to endure these conditions and still pay full price. Okay. How long has Elsa been gone? Two days, I think. Maybe even three. I don't know. It's all a blur of dirt and dust and soap residue. My name is Guadalupe Comillo. My friends call me Lupe. My name is Nancy Drew. Be a doll and clean my room first. It'll hardly take you any time at all. Especially compared to the other rooms. The other guests are all men. Single men. Well, I'm happy to report that I've already cleaned your room. Excellent. What are you looking at through the binoculars? Birds. I did not see I'm her. I did not mean to click on her That's at all. what I am, you see. A bird watcher. Sometimes I go outside and watch, and sometimes I stay inside. Mm. It all depends on what the birds feel mm. like doing and what I feel like doing. So that's what brought you to Icicle Creek Lodge, the birding? Absolutely. The place is a veritable birding paradise, even in winter. In fact, in the short time I've been here, I've seen hawks, eagles, orioles, cardinals, jays, nothing truly rare, but to a wildlife lover such as myself. You can get through the whole game without talking to her. Imagine. Have you met the other guests? I've bumped into them at one time or another. Yes, I don't spend all my time in front of this window. That Yanni fellow, he's very talented, but extremely intense. His whole life revolves around being the best in the world. As for the two who are always sitting across the way playing that silly game, the older man, Bill Kessler, he's no deep thinker, but he's nice enough. But the other one, that college student, talking to him is like trying to converse with a giant turnip. No social graces whatsoever. I almost prefer talking to the handyman. Almost. Anyone that intent on destroying something as glorious as that wolf is hard. Yeah, I agree. He's he's I've weird about it. Ta -ta. He's way too weird about killing that wolf. I personally don't enjoy killing things. <laughs> okay, lunchtime. Hey, cooking mini game. Okay. I know how to do this. One quesadilla. No quesadilla. One quesadilla. So three... Three quesadillas. Four quesadillas. How... Oh my god, these cook quick. Okay. Oh, hello, Finny. Hello, gorgeous boy. Did you have a nice walkies? Good boy. Did you have fun? Good boy. She sniff a lot. Oh, sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'll continue to cook your food. I can't remember 
who this is meant to be for. Uh, I've forgotten. I've forgotten who wanted quesadillas. No, they didn't want a quesadilla. Has the quesadilla just gone missing? There, okay. Let's just show it. it's this one. That does Hello. look good. Yeah, Finny was here. That quesadilla looked great. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Two cheese, one lettuce. Two ches. Let. Okay, ches. Let. Pickle. Tom. Onion. I could take a picture, but. Ugh. Catch. One, one, zero, one, 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 no, two. Okay. Let's get the, this hamburger then. Everybody want a hamburger? No, you can go then. Order up. You want a hamburger? You just want a quesadilla? Order up. My best friend. Okay, three hamburgers. Two cheese, one lettuce, pickle, no onion, one mustard, one ketchup. <gasps> Hi, Miss Bella, nice to see you. Thank you for the follow. Oh my gosh, your, your, the notifications hidden in my chat. I need to fix that. <laughs> Hello! I love this game. It's so happy. I love the cooking mini games. When I looked at the reviews of this game, they were all complaining about the cooking game. But I love it. There you go, Ollie. I'm cooking for Ollie. Nobody said I had to cook for that wolf killer. Okay. Where are you from? I am from uh, the middle of England, right smack bang in the middle, <laughs> right smack bang in the middle. <laughs> it's connecting, I don't know why. You always wanted to visit? Yeah, it's, it's good times. Uh, it should. It, it's good, good fun stuff to do. Like, honestly, you could spend a lot of time just in London and then uh, see the countryside. Honestly, I recommend Edinburgh <laughs> the most. Scotland is amazing. So two cheese, zero lettuce, two pickle, one tomato, two onion. Everybody loves the cheese. I don't blame them. Pickles. Never been to that side of the world. Are you? Uh, where are you from? Where are you based? America. Yeah, I hope you get to travel then. Some. I've 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 been to uh, I've been to Florida, <laughs> in America. I've I I would like to see more. Gosh, it's fun. Fox and geese, I'll see you later. 
You're close-ish. Is anything really close-ish in, in America? <laughs> Is there such thing? Ooh, computer. Ooh, all the birds. Fish. Mississippi. I honestly don't know if that's close or not. I don't know the states. I only know, like, the outside. And just about. <laughs> oh, no. I've done it again. Two hours away. Oh, hello, Ignis. I'm not used to being able to click out of these games. We should call people. Can we call the hospital? Do I need to put the 403? That is the that is the question. I always get confused dialing in this game in these games. Do a prank call. I will. Maybe I should try and call the police. I would like to report a man trying to murder a wolf. This is the sheriff's office. Uh, nobody's in the office right now, so you can either hang up and call back or wait for the I guess I don't need to talk to them. I don't need to leave a message. Yeah, I guess you don't really need to know anything about places that you uh, don't live. Uh, do I have to call Tino Balducci? Yeah, <laughs> leave a message. I'm just gonna call 911 after this. Oh, hearing his voice, it's worse than I remembered. Sure helped is the right word, Mr. Balducci. Please, call me Tino. In fact, Tino, I'm a little surprised you're still in law enforcement, considering some of the unethical, if not illegal, stunts you pulled back. Yeah, then. he um hey, he, he almost right. crashed the train. Looks like You never thought about how far, far things are away. Yeah, I think that's like a different perception on how far things are. Like, I wouldn't say that I live close to London, but I could probably, on a good day, get there in two hours. The train is only an hour 50, in fact. <laughs> Straight, direct to London. But I wouldn't say I lived close. It's just different. <laughs> I'm curious. How do you know Chantal? Friend of a friend heard about all the problems she was having up there and immediately figured she could use my crime solving expertise. So I gave her a call. Is he getting paid? Because I'm not. I got myself a new client. How many clients do you have? I Maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, well, Chantel hired me to be at your disposal, <laughs> so you know where to find me. Arrivederci. Bye. I can't believe we don't get to call Bess, George, or or Ned, but we get to call Tino Balducci. Nine one one. I'd like to report a Tino Balducci. Not even ringing. Okay, when is this at dinner? So we don't actually have to do anything until 6pm.
Can I leave? Caution. I can leave. Okay, so in this game, you can freeze to death. <laughs> so you have to watch that top bar. Right. Guess I better get this pawn shoveled off. We're playing is basically Minesweeper. Oh. Uh, how do I do it? I'm pressing. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh. Ooh. Ah! I almost killed Nancy. <laughs> Don't eat the yellow snow. Oh, we'll try. We'll try our very best. Gotta be one there. Gotta be two around here somewhere. Yeah, it is, is exactly Minesweeper. I think if you fall in too many, I think you do die. Okay, so there must be quite a few around here. So there's two next to that one. It sounds kind of nice. Oh no. <laughs> just like that. I think this one is just like this. Oh. 
So much ice. I don't think this can be one. <sighs> okay, we're, we're coming along nicely. I hope I don't die now because I think we're getting close to the end. One, one, so that can't be one. It's one of these. I don't think it's this one. Okay. Okay, since we didn't put one over there, can I put it on top now? There we go. Okay, one more. One more. It's not you. And we've got it. That ought to do it. Wait a second. Those look like wolf tracks. Maybe I should find out where they go. Or maybe we shouldn't wander off into the snow. Maybe. Just maybe. It's an idea. <laughs> yeah, fo follow the wolf. It looks like some kind of monument. What's this doing here? Strange. It's halfway in and halfway out. This thing must open up somehow. Yeah, this this is a great idea on all fronts. Follow a wolf in the freezing cold and, you know, where we don't know our way around. Um <laughs> okay, so we're probably going to get killed in an avalanche. Or, like an explosion. or an explosion. What's that noise? Okay, I think we should leave. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> Deserved, honestly. <laughs> I'm buried in snow. I gotta dig myself out before I run out of air. I'll never make it. I can barely breathe. Someone's up there. Help! I'm down here! Right under you! Can you hear me? Help! I can't breathe! I've heard my faint footsteps. And this is why you shouldn't follow wolves. <gasps> Easy. It's okay. I'm not real happy about the situation either. The wolf saved us, and that psycho wants to oh, shoot it. Thanks to that hole it dug, I can breathe again. Now, if I can just pull myself out. Nancy was not made for the uh, great outdoors. I like how she's continuing as well. She's like, let's just keep going. Okay, we need to watch that bar at the top. The sound of the snow, it's so... Real. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. That's phew. <laughs> Can I get in this way? Ah, warm again. Well, we almost died, so But now we must protect that wolf at all costs. Been there, done that. Oh, we need to call the avalanche patrol. Check that off. Still need to do the check. 
Was it an avalanche or did, was someone That's exploding it. things? Check. 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 Okay. Check. Been there, done that. That's finished. She was really not fussed at all about that whole situation. Hello? Hi Chantal, it's Nancy Drew. You know who's behind the accident? Not quite yet. Oh. I'd like to know more about the accident. I asked Ollie, but he said you said he wasn't allowed to talk about them. I didn't mean he couldn't talk about them with you. Ugh. I'll give him a call. As for the accident, it's the first thing that happened with the worst. The Farringdale family and Becky the cook all came down with food poisoning and had to be hospitalized. Somehow, the potato salad got contaminated, although Becky swears it wasn't... I don't feel good about the potato salad. No. Oh my gosh. Anyway, then Carl Deacon slips on the stairs outside and broke his leg. Then Lou Talbot's window was broken. Then Elsa the Did the wolf do that too? I mean, it would be very convenient if it was the wolf. The sun keeps getting in my eyes. But uh, I don't think wolves can do that. <laughs> Did you know that some photos are missing from the display case in the lobby? Really? Last I looked, they were all there. I think. The caption for them says something like, Young and old have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge. I can't remember what they were pictures of. And I sure don't know why they'd be missing. That bone trapper Dan found is missing from its case too. First the accident, now someone's stealing from me. It was the wolf. Nancy, you've got to find out what's going on there. If you don't, it was me. I'll never be able to convince my dad I'm not a loser, ever. Has anyone taught you about the World Championship Cross Country Skiing? It's always people's daddy issues in these in games. This area year after next. That is something I am not at liberty to discuss. In other words, the answer is yes. Mm. That would tend to make Icicle Creek Lodge a very desirable piece of real estate, wouldn't it? If the championship is held nearby, which as far as I know, still hasn't been decided. Do you think someone's been causing these accidents to run me out of business so they can buy the lodge from me on the cheap? Mm, it's a thought. And a pretty nasty one at that. Is it true that you promised Ollie a raise, but you haven't given it to him yet? Meaning... Okay, I mentioned to Ollie once that I thought he maybe deserved a raise. And now every time I turn around, he's all like, Where's the raise you promised me? Where's the raise you promised me? Doesn't he realize I have a few other things to think about right now? I swear, sometimes that crabby little whiner drives me nuts. You know what? I don't like him either. Because he's trying... He's creating a trap to kill that wolf. He tried to shoot that wolf. He said he's going to try and get rid of that wolf by all means necessary. About Tino, I'm not totally Let's comfortable with the idea of Axe Tino, please. Him on this case. Why not? Two heads are always better than one, and I find him to be very knowledgeable and kind of charming. If I need any Are we talking about the same person? People I, you know, trust. I insist that if and when you're stumped about something, you ask Tino to help you out. That's what I'm paying him for. You can trust him. Paying? <laughs> I'm doing the cooking and cleaning. And he's a better person for it. Okay? Okay. Good. I better get back to work. One more thing. Ask Yami if it would be alright if I used his name and picture on the Icicle Creek Lodge website. I mean, when I finally have a website, it would be great publicity, okay? 
sure. Good. Talk to you soon. Okay, we need to call Avalanche Control. And maybe we call the hospital to talk about the people who had poop food poisoning. I'm calling from the Icicle Creek Lodge, but I wanted to report an avalanche at Chicken Ridge. Anyone injured or trapped? Uh, not anymore. We'll check it out. Thanks for the heads up. Not anymore. <laughs> you know Ollie Randall? The handyman here at the lodge? He's also on the patrol. Do me a favor and tell him that the explosives training in Calgary has been postponed till next month. Explosives training? Sometimes the patrol has to use explosives to bring down unstable snow. Yearly training sessions are mandatory. Ollie will know what I'm talking about. I'll tell him. Appreciate it. One more thing. Have any of you guys been setting off explosives anywhere near the icicle? There we go. Recently? Nope, sure haven't. Who's doing this? <laughs> Was it trying to kill Nancy? I haven't even snooped yet. So the police and the ambulances are all busy. So yeah, let's it's a good job that wolf was around. <laughs> Who's snoring? And also where oh there she is. Oh my Oh my oh my. Can I wake him up? I need to tell him I Minecrafted what Minecrafted uh Minesweepered huh? oh, the I... the pond. Oh sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. Could have fooled me. What do you want? Okay. We're not playing fox and geese until we have to. Oh yeah, Rolf Kessler, the carousel guy. Have you by any chance related to Rolf Kessler, the guy who used to build carousels around the turn of the last century? No idea. Oh, okay, he doesn't care at all. Is this the first time you've been to the lodge? Yep, sure is. I've kept you awake long enough. Hasta siesta. Oh, he falls asleep quick. I'm jealous. Before I forget, Chantal called, told me I can answer any questions you might have about those accidents after all. Guess she changed her mind. Okay, let's see how he blames all this on the wolf. How do you explain what happened to Carl Jenkins, the former guest who slipped on the stairs and broke his leg? Can't explain. One minute those stairs were clear and dry, next minute they're slick with ice and he's lying at the bottom of them. You're positive they were clear and dry? Yep. Chipped every bit of frozen snow off of them myself. You ask me, somebody asked those stairs down. Okay, he's not blaming it on the wolf. That's good. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. It's a good start. It's my camera like flickering. It's so annoying. The Avalanche Patrol asked me to tell you that the explosives training session in Calgary has been postponed till next month. Well, hallelujah. I didn't really <laughs> want to go anywhere until I finished off that wolf. Now I won't have to. I was like, you're in real life. <laughs> Maybe I am. I don't know. What, let's just do the classic. Unplug and plug back in. Connect as well. That's fun. So you're on the avalanche patrol, huh? Yep. Dang. I just remembered. Patrol wants me to keep an eye on Skookum Ridge for the next couple of weeks. Here. There's the key to the snowmobile. Take it out to Skookum Ridge and see if there's been an avalanche. Snowmobile. Snowmobile. Seat seated so you don't have to worry about the cold. 
Make sure you call the patrol and give them a report when you're done. You can handle that, can't you? I mean, I'm probably not qualified, but sure. Good. Two more things. That Bill Kessler guy's getting bored being the only one around here doing any ice fishing. He wants competition. So if he says anything to you, just remember that... Fishing! I did enough in Tapu Cave. Other thing is, the cold snap's on its way. You think it's cold now? Just wait. Gotta be real careful anytime you're outside. So, we done here? Have you seen that strange concrete monument thing that's out there on the trail? <laughs> he lives here. He might have. Is there a way to get into it, do you know? Don't know, don't really care. Maybe something in that display up in the lobby will tell you what you want to know. Too busy shooting wolves. Now. If you need anything, just holler. Okay, we need to ask... We need to ask the new Cheeks McGee. Nancy, I'm glad to see you. Mm. Are you alright? You seem upset. You must listen. I was outside skiing very fast, as usual, and suddenly, boom, snow, dirt, rocks, everything went flying into the air right in front of me. There is a mad bomber on the loose. There was, yeah. You think it was a bomb? I, I heard of course it. Of it was a bomb. My competitors bombed the bunkhouse thinking I would be so frightened that I would We need to check out the bunkhouse. Only I wasn't frightened. So now they are trying to bomb me. Do you think they're responsible for all the accidents that have been happening around here as well? My competitors and the governments behind them, they are as desperate as they are ruthless. They are capable of anything. They can operate anywhere in the world under all conditions. It would not surprise me if someone right here in the lodge is right now under their employ. But to them, I say, pa, they do not scare me. I am the best cross-country skier in the world. I will neutralize their petty threats with my excellent strength, skill, and speed. I am sorry. Enough Good for you. My <laughs> Did you want something? Chantal would like to use your name and picture on her website when she gets it up and running. Would that be okay? I am sorry, but no. Oh, well, so much for that. I have disturbed <laughs> you long enough. It has been a pleasure. I don't blame him, to be honest. This lodge is a mess. What else can I do? I guess I could take the snowmobile, but... Because we've got three hours until lunch. And we need to go to the blown up bunkhouse. We'll do that. Been there, done that. Check. Check. Keeps disconnecting. Why? Why microphone? Oh, now it's a bit cold. Maybe we should. Maybe I should stay where it's nice and cozy. Yodelay. It can only be Siri. Yeah, it is. It is. It's Siri. Hi, Siri. My phone didn't react. I kind of feel insulted. <laughs> How's it going? How's the great outdoors? Okay, he's not there either. We need to- oh, we can call Elsa. She was the last maid. Siri! Now pick me up at Double Double while you're at it, okay? Yo, what's up? Uh, is this Elsa Sibylhoff? Used to be. Now it's just Sybil. Sybil? Sybil. That's what I'm gonna call myself. Big time hungover. Nice. Is this the Nancy voice actor doing an Australian accent? You're a singer? Rockstar. At least I'm about to be. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. <laughs> I'm calling from the Icicle Creek Lodge. I hear you had some tire problems while you were here. Oh, yeah, right. It was that wolf. I heard it howling all night, and the next morning I went outside, and it just ripped my tires apart. Every single one of them. Mm. That place, jinxed. I had to quit. Working there was just plain dangerous. 
says, if you're trying to deny my unemployment claim, forget it. I had every right to leave that job. Okay. You quit because a wolf chewed up your tires? Well, that is a little freaky, don't you think? Besides, it wasn't just that. One guy fell down the stairs and broke his leg, his whole family got food poisoning, and now I hear they got bombs going off up there. It's just a bad place to work, you know? My unemployment claim is totally legit. Your tire is getting all torn up like that. She's didn't saying it a lot. With L, did it? Uh, L? L, as in I'm going to sell your collection of troll dolls on eBay? <sighs> you found his stupid letters. Okay, so it was Larry, my insanely jealous ex boyfriend. He got all crazed when I couldn't take time off to visit him and slash my tires, the psycho. I blamed it on the wolf so I have a legitimate reason to quit and get on the pogey for a while. I just needed some time off and some cash, just enough to jumpstart my career, you know? Because I got talent. I really do. <sighs> You're right. I shouldn't have lied like that. Look, I'll call Elsa's got talent. Office and tell the truth, okay? Good idea. What happened to Larry? All I know is he's finally out of my life. Good. Me. Do not ever, ever, ever think for one second that having a jealous boyfriend is in any way, shape, or form a good thing. Because it's not. It's the worst. Got that, Nanook? Uh, Nancy. In fact, I'm writing a song about it. It's called Slash Your Jealousy, Spare My Tires. Get it? Spare My Tires? I'll probably sing it on Canadian Idol. Hey, you want to hear No. It? Uh, no. In fact, I'm I off. better get going. <laughs> good luck on the show, though, and thanks for the advice. Anytime. Well, what an interesting character. Oh, we can call the Faringdales. The ones who got food poisoning. They were in my room before. Oh no, I hope it was thoroughly cleaned. That is Nancy's voice actor doing a bad Australian accent. Yeah, I thought so. Contents deleted. I wonder why. I can't see anybody who's ever stayed before. Should I call this guy? He's this is the guy who fell. Okay, let's call food poisoning people first. It's not the worst. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Hello? Hi, are you Mrs. Faringdale? Put these rocks down in the car, okay? We're late. This better not be a sales call because I really don't have time. No, no, my name is Nancy Drew and I'm calling from the Icicle Creek Lodge. You know, in Canada. After what happened to me and my family, I have no intention of going back there ever, no matter how many freebies you throw in. I thought I made that clear. Put that cookie down and get in the car. I don't really blame them, to be honest. The I just wondered if you could tell me what happened. The three of us had meatloaf, potato salad, and green beans for dinner one night. And by four the next morning, we were all sick as dogs and had to be taken to the hospital. We recovered quickly, thank goodness. But the minute we got out, we went straight to the airport. I will never set foot in that lodge again. The worst of it is, I made poor little Susie eat all of her potato salad that night. Eat it, I said. It's cold out. You need the carbs. Now no, not Susie and eating all the carbs. Even french fries. All our friends think she's a freak. And all our friends' mothers think I'm a freak for going to Canada for winter break instead of Disney World like everyone else. Turn that TV off. I have to go. Susie's got a soccer game and I'm snacking. Only I haven't been to the store yet. Maybe I can sneak out during halftime. Sure, just pull out the orange slices and no one will notice. Oh my gosh, the orange slices. Susie, get in the car! We have to go right now! Wow, she's got a life. Okay. This is the guy who fell on the stairs. Mr. Jenkins? Yeah, this is Carl. Well, 
my name is Nancy Drew. I heard that you had an accident at Icicle Creek Lodge and wondered if you could tell me a little more about it. Not much to tell. I... Ha! Take that, Captain Keen! I went there to do a little ice fishing and I slipped going down some stairs and fractured my tibia in two places. Oh no, not your tibia. All I can do is sit around and play this stupid video game. Oh no, you don't! I understand the stairs were a little icy. They were covered with ice. I was lucky I didn't fracture my skull. Yes, yes! Hey look, I'm about four laser strikes away from ruling the Gargoonian galaxy, so I gotta go, okay? If you got any more questions, check with the people at the large gotcha! Yeah, Nancy has to be the line cook. I love it. I love the cooking mini games. I personally, my favourite one is the Waverly Academy one. I can't wait to get to that game. I'm so excited. It's the first one I played. Hi, oh darling dear. Just waiting for, waiting to cook quesadillas and hamburgers. I wonder what's for dinner. They had such a delicious lunch. I wouldn't need a dinner, to be honest. Okay, we called some people who were involved in accidents. We still need to do that. Oh, okay. We, uh, there's one person left, I guess. Let's look on the computer. So called then, um, maybe this one? Four, one, eight. Loads of people complain about the cooking mini games, but I love them. I'm just complaining because she's not paid. <laughs> and Tino Balducci is being paid. Oh, wait, no, I need the phone. Not Tino Balducci out of everyone. He's not even here. He doesn't even go here. Hello. Hello. I've got it, sweetheart. Hi, is this Brenda and Derek Southwaite? Yes, it is. No. This is a solicitation. Honey, you're so suspicious. Only because you can be way too nice for your own good, darling. I'm not selling anything. I just want to ask you. Put the phone down, Nancy. Immediately. Lodge. You mean Gassical Leak Lodge? Oh, oh these are the ones who almost died in the sauna. heard something about your almost being overcome by fumes in the sauna? Well, we had just gone ice skating, so we decided to warm up in the sauna. So we were sitting in there and everything was fine until both of us started feeling a little woozy. We started feeling a lot woozy. And the next thing we knew, that Russian skier came in. Actually, I think he was Slovakian. The point is, he told us he smelled gas and thought we should get out, so we did. Barely. By that point, the fumes were making us both ill, if you know what I mean. That poor skier. By the time he helped us get out of there, he was almost as green as we were. Awful experience. Horrible. And it was our honeymoon. Well, at least the owner had the decency to give us a full refund. <laughs> almost died. Full refund. We're off to Africa. Fair enough. Kind of a second first honeymoon. Long story short, if you're thinking about going to Icicle Creek Lodge, don't. Well, I appreciate the advice. Have fun. Oh, we will. <laughs> I'm already there. Bye. <laughs> Okay, now we should be able to take that off. Check. I love the easier menus in these games. Okay, I'm gonna end here because my painkillers are wearing off. <laughs> I had uh, my wisdom teeth are growing, and they are hurting my mouth a lot, and the pain the painkillers have worn off. So we'll end there for today. The good news is there's a bank holiday in the UK at the end of the week, so I'll be able to stream a lot. Thank you for watching. Yeah, it should be. It feels be a bit better, but yeah, it's just annoying. You need your mouth to talk and eat delicious foods. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I will see you sometime in the week, probably Thursday. Thank you. Bye.